All of them. Oh man, that's gotta hurt. That hurts we my zone. You see heart. a drop coming cross map to the main here. Ooh, sneaky, sneaky. I like this. Even though it's only five Marines here, this this drop can do a lot of damage. I mean, he had, doesn't have any type of anti air in right, this. All these units are so, so far away, and like he's actually gonna do a lot of damage with Oh them. gosh, and he has one over, oh, what is it? One infester that could like do. Tons of damage with that fungal growth, but he really needs to just like move all of his drones as all of his drones are being taken out. The Zerklers are streaming in trying to take out Ooh, all of these. And he lifts just in the nick of time. Oh man, loses one Marine, but that last Marine like is oh, just he's, chilling. He's continuing to drop here. He's gonna get this cleaned up, but he's done a substantial amount of, mu of damage. And now his food count is way ahead of Hydra Lord. Hydrolord's macro here just completely fell apart when this attack happened. Yeah, I mean, he's got so much energy on these queens, and these queens, it's like, with these queens having this much energy, it's like not muling at all at a Terran base. You know, I mean, absolutely. I mean, we can see that uh, Changalicious Dove has, does have his aura command, and he gets, he, gets, he gets denied by those Zerglings being lift it up again but he's pushing back again oh gonna be losing all of these zerglings to that oh but these he's waiting oh no all he should have just waited come out and get taken out immediately oh he should have just waited till they like just gone over him and then yeah. boom right then and there just I, got all I of them i absolutely agree with this but now this he's sending oh, oh no all of those infestors those infestors got sent in during the scan Oh, oh what a nightmare! That was absolutely the worst possible time to try to send those in. Yeah. Normally, with infestor play, you usually have a buffer when you use them, correct? Absolutely, you need the zergling buffer for sure. Yeah, and look at that—all the zerglings and the roaches, and one infestor just kind of sneaking by. Oh, and he's doing a scan. Oh, but he catches all of these. Oh, but these tanks aren't sieged. Oh, he's doing so much damage to these tanks. Oh. He's take out all of them. But I think this is way too much. It's it's actually too late. There's way too many Marines, and he's gonna clean this up. Oh man! And be able to just push right to the front here. And he's like, at least he's hiding that uh, infestor. But that infestor doesn't have enough energy. Ah, oh, and he did not research the fungal growth. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have fungal growth at all. Oh, that's uh, a huge mistake here. What oh, a huge, huge if he had that fungal growth, he could have been putting on that on that Marines and just like just decimating him with his Zerglin force. Oh, but I mean, he's just going to be cleaning house here in Hydra Lord's base, streaming in more units. I mean, it's just uh, the spire finishes, but it's probably too late now. He doesn't, yeah. even, have, doesn't even have enough gas now to build Mutas, so oh man, it's going to be over pretty quickly. Rough day for Hydra Lord at the office. I mean, he just decided, look, you know, I want to play a macro game. I want to get in some good, you know, good play. We his build was on time. We liked it. Uh, I just needed to do a little bit more droning, and I think that was uh, his problem in the last game. You know, it just needed to have a lot more drones, in a sense. Absolutely, but not only that, he did a terrific, terrific job at managing this natural expo. He really stopped this Terran from taking it for so, so long, and he was so far ahead, but he just didn't capitalize on it. He didn't take his third fast enough. He didn't even take a fourth yet, and he just made a large amount of units for way too long and didn't build nearly enough drones and that I think cost him entirely the game. Yeah. He's gonna try to mute a harass a little bit here. He'll be able to take out these SCVs that are building these missile turrets, but Yeah, and he's gonna be trying to close the gap, but the Marines are gonna be pushing those guys away. It, it oh is but he's, he he too loses a little too late at this point. Oh, but he loses three mutas in that engagement. Oh man, that's so many minerals and gas lost in that engagement. Uh not I'm that that and was now there's a, a huge push in the front, and this game is absolutely over. Oh, man, yeah, and the Marine and Siege Tank is just going to take out this base. Oh, man, Hydra Lord, you are so close. Oh, bringing it up to the silver players, man. Putting pressure on that platinum player. Absolutely. But. I mean, he played, he played pretty phenomenally, but really his crisis management could use some work in really just making drones. Yeah. That's the only thing he needs to do, just work on building drones.
Yeah, and, and you know what? It's, it's a priority level. It's really like, alright, what are my priorities in in the game? Like, I need to make more drones? Alright, put that at the top of the priority list, you know? Day 9 says it all the time. <laughs> and it's, 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 it's one of his, like, key aspects in StarCraft, you know? It's rearranging what needs to be done and what you need to do better at it. But Hydra Lord throws up the GG. Changalish just says GG back. All good games here from both of these players. Great Absolutely. play, you know? Gosh, I mean, Hydra Lord almost had this in the bag. He did such good damage early on in the game. Great defense, uh, but just fell apart at the end. He had a well-timed build and a well-timed management of that expo, but he just needed to focus a little harder on the actual macro steps that you need to take to be able to be a dominant Zerg player. Yeah, he he could have taken this game away from Changalicious, but Changalicious having a proper defense and making sure that his macro wasn't slipping, you know, really changed the tide of this game. And, uh, you know, it's just... Oh, gosh, that was, that was so close, but it's okay. Absolutely. So Changalicious will be moving on to the round of eight. That's right, and uh, uh, and unfortunately, Hydra Lord, we do appreciate him coming out and playing this game, and uh, you Absolutely. know, I hope he joins us for next season. Yeah, you know, next season he could definitely sign up. Also, uh, we want to give a big shout out to our sponsors, NerdReactor.com uh, is one of our sponsors. Going to be also donating the Jim Rayner figurine, uh, which is a which is like a hundred worth a hundred bucks for our you know tournament that we really were gonna start off just having f for free. It was gonna be fun, you know. But Absolutely. they were great in having a you know a donation of that to us and you know giving us to our grand champion. We do really, really appreciate that. Also, you can check out more videos on the Killshot Starcraft dot uh, com website. Definitely check those out. Also, it, you can also check them out on my uh, YouTube channel. That's going to be uh, Longshot Starcraft uh, on YouTube. So definitely check that out. And you can follow me on Twitter at tr Kaleido. That's right. So once again, guys, thank you for watching, and we will both check you guys next time. Peace.